Hello everyone, welcome to your next chapter and section. In this chapter, we're gonna be learning how to kind of make your code more optimized and sleek. I'm gonna teach you a lot of more practical skills that you're gonna to wanna to learn in Python, uh, mostly around how to make your code really efficient, but we're in this section specifically, we're gonna look at scripting in Python. So if you notice from our last chapter, by the end of it, we were getting to the point where we were, you know, making uh, at least 10 lines of code and doing like pressing up to go through and debug that all the time is a real pain in the butt. All right. So we want to make sure that uh, maybe we give you a better technique to use in order to start building large code because it's going to start to get a little bit more tricky going forward. All right, guys. So uh, first, what you're going to learn today is we're going to learn how to navigate folders in bash, uh, which is in terminal. So I'm going to teach you kind of like how to make folders, how to move between directories. This is going to be a bit more relevant for people in, um, in a, on a Mac computer. However, these commands also exist in some form for a command prompt. So uh, you can very easily find the documentation for this and be able to uh, kind of follow along. We're not going to be doing anything crazy in terms of commands. They're going to be they're going to be very similar between the two types of shells. Okay, guys. But before we go into the bash stuff, I'm going to also show you uh, where to download a couple of recommended text editors. Uh, these are text editors used by basically everyone. So I'm going to just show you two uh, and then you can decide which one you like to use. Uh, then we're going to really just create a simple script in Python or a simple Python script and run it in bash and show you how that all works. Okay. So just for definition, oh, we don't have definitions. Okay, guys, here we are in a browser. <clears throat> right now I'm showing you the text editor Sublime Text. You're probably familiar with the way this uh, was Sublime Text because that's where the, syn that's the basically the color and text editor that I'm using uh, for your syntax sections. So you might be familiar with this already, but what these uh, what these things are, Sublime Text, and I'm going to show you Adam here in a moment. Are they're they're really just text editors? They're just they're almost like a, a simple Word document or like a you know WordPress text file, except rather than um, it being you know writing for like a document or some paper you're writing, it's designed specifically to make your coding life a lot easier. So when you start to see you know people on the internet or TV uh, coding and it's all colored and stuff, it's because they're using a text editor that is designed specifically to assist them with coding and like highlight things for them and give them little shortcuts so that they make their code writing experience a lot easier. So I, I recommend these two here. This one's called Sublime Text. I'm going to show you what Sublime Text looks like in terms of adjusting a little a few things in here. But Adam, you know, works exactly the same. It's a really light, easy download. Occasionally, Sublime Text is going to ask if you want to like pay for it. Uh, just say no. You never have to worry about paying for it. They're never going to give you a hard time. I've never, I've never paid for it. So uh, if you want to use Sublime Text, that's a great one to use. The other one I would recommend using is Adam. Um, Adam is one I'm starting to use a lot more, uh, and I'm I'm really enjoying it because there's it's a lot more fun. There's a lot of things you can do with it that I wasn't able to necessarily do out of the box with Python that I really or out of the box with Sublime Text that I'm really enjoying with Adam. So for now, Sublime Text is a little bit easier to get into. So I've been using it for you guys, but those are the two I recommend at the moment. Okay, so once you have downloaded Sublime Text, I want you to open open it up and kind of like split your screen a little bit so that you have a, a text editor on the left. I'm going to get rid of one of these guys, that one here, and uh, a terminal on the right. You don't have to set it up like this, but I do want you to be able to see uh, a terminal and a text editor at the same time in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to get out of this here. Remember, when we start in Python, we are in our bash, uh, bash thing here. So the first thing I want to show you is how to navigate bash a little bit. So remember how all we're doing from in here is being, just going into Python lately. You get out of Python by pressing control D. Uh, and so what I want to show you is a couple of ways of navigating around uh, your bash terminal or your bash, yeah, your bash uh, uh, shell and then show you how to save a script, Python script somewhere and then run it in bash. Uh, which will make sense. Will all make sense in just a moment. So first off, what I want to teach you is the uh, ls command, which is like look a list. I think it means list, and it's going to list everything that is in your current directory. 
You see there, I have a bunch of things that are in red. My, my bash will probably look a little bit different than yours because I've added some customization to it, but all of these commands will definitely work. And you'll see here like, oh, desktop, documents, downloads. This looks like a root directory where I can go into like, you know, my desktop and stuff. Uh, this might look familiar from like, from just like looking for folders in your finder when you're, when you're playing with, uh, playing, you know, with the user interface as opposed to just in base Python or base uh, when you're in terminal, I should say. Uh, the next thing I want to teach you is this command here, which is called change directory. What we, our goal for the end of this lecture is to move into a direct, move into a folder and then create a directory that we can save our Python scripts into and then run one, okay? So change directory is the CD thing, uh, is what CD means. And then based on what directories exist in this list, we can go, we can dig deep into them. So we can go change directory desktop, and if we press tab, it'll try and autocomplete sometimes. You can also then tab to see what is there. I have lots of stuff in my desktop at the moment. So let's just move into this. Uh, and now you see on my screen, even at least, that um, I am from my home directory went into my desktop directory. And if I do ls again, I'll show you all of that stuff that came up. You'll see that I have this thing here, which is called Udemy Python scripts. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, one more thing with this command in bash. So with bash, if you enter a command, you can then use this dash button, which is like your minus sign. It's next to your zero and then provide um, functions to it or provide parameters to it. So if I do this, I'm saying I want um, a bunch of stuff to be returned in a specific way. And you see here, it's a little bit hard to read, so I'm gonna make it larger. And it shows all of this extra information for me that I find very valuable. Uh, so what's going on here is that you, I looked, I, I asked it for some specific parameters. You can go help ls, I think. No, info ls, that's how you do it. If you go info ls, it's gonna show you everything you need to know about um, the ls function and how it works. Um, oh, I did lf, not ls, oops, there we go. This makes sense. Uh, so now you see if you do a dash and any of these parameters, it's going to give you a slightly different response. So let's say uh, that L parameter, I said lowercase L, it lists everything in long format. T lists um, the time it was modified, okay? So that's just like a couple of different parameters that you can use in bash that are useful when m moving around them, okay? So we have this ls function and we have cd. One other thing I need to teach you about cd is if you want to go back a directory, you use the double period command, okay? And that will move you back into one directory up. If you ever get like into a directory, you don't know where you're, and you, you want to go back to your, like back to the top, back to your root directory, all you have to do is your tilde sign, which is just above your tab here, okay? So with that, we have now learned how to kind of move up and down folders in, in a terminal. Uh, you'll be more familiar with what are folders and what aren't, mostly because folders don't have an extension at the end. Although most, they, they, it is possible for a folder to not, to or a file to have not have an extension at the end and, and kind of fool you. But most folders uh, don't have extensions. And if you use something like mine, uh, they'll highlight which, which are folders. So what we want to do is create um, a folder that we can save our Python scripts into. So go into anywhere you want in your in your computer. Like I recommend going to like your desktop or your downloads folder. And on in terminal here, what we want to do is we're going to make a directory. We're going to make directory. That's how we build a directory like that. Make directory and then we name we give it a name. I called it Udemy Python scripts. And if you call it whatever you want, this won't work for me because I've already created one that says folder exists. But if you do that, it will work. Lastly, if you screw up or if you don't, if you want to remove um, a folder altogether, be very, very careful about this because if you remove something that's really critical for your computer's like um, operating system or running, uh, it will crash. It'll break your computer. So in this case, let's just say we wanted to remove this folder because it's that's how you do it. You remove it and use this dash rf parameter go into the info section to see exactly what that does, but be very careful with that, okay? So, okay, let's move into our, now that we've created that folder, let's move into it. And I wanna show you how to, how to make a Python script work with bash. So first off, we have a script here. That's like a, we just started a new file and I'm gonna just have it go print hello world. 
just like that, okay? And I'm gonna save this file into our Udemy folder. We go into our folder here, and I'm gonna call it like test.py. And by going test.py, it tells, um, you know, our, our text file that this is indeed a Python script. It might not have colored for you if, um, if you didn't have it there. Consequently, if you go in the bottom right here, you can change uh, the the code reading. So if it wasn't, if it, if it looked kind of like, um, I don't know, was there, yeah, if it looks, so, I don't know, if it looked like just plain text, it probably looked like that at first. But if you change it, like if it doesn't know it's Python, you can say, hey, this is actually Python, so color it that way. You can also change the color, uh, your color theme for sublime text by going into uh, your preferences and, and, and manipulating it from there. I'm trying to use a nice white offset so that you can read easily, but you might like a black one. I tend to like to code with a black background. Okay, so now that we've saved this file into our Python Udemy scripts folder, I'm gonna show you how to run that file. So all you have to do is Python and then call the file itself. Test.py. Look at that. And it actually prints the hello world. It runs everything that's in that script. If we go ls.ltrh, you'll see that we indeed have this Python script here. There's test.py that I made a second ago. And um, yeah, that's how you create a script and run it in Python. And so now if there's an error, something like this, let's print. It doesn't have any issues there, but let's go X like that. Oh, and see there, it popped up the, do you wanna pay? I've always clicked no and you're always fine there. Okay, look at that. So it printed hello world and then it actually tells us what the error was. So now we say, okay, X wasn't defined. We can go back, um, test, save this now and then run it again and it does work, okay? So this is how we can build thousands of lines of code, debug, and then run it again without having to like, you know, go through the process over and over and over again. So this is, this class is really just a way to teach you how to optimize your coding experience so that you can, you know, get, get, you know, better with Python and start to do more complex things. So with that in mind, guys, let's do a quick recap. Uh, so I taught you a little bit about navigating through bash. You learned a bit about uh, how to move uh, around directories and, uh, also uh, create directories, you learn how to save a script into a folder and then run that Python script in Bash, uh, which will be very, very useful for your next section, which we're gonna be talking about functions. So uh, with that, my guys, have a nice one. See you in next class.